Islamabad, approved Pakistan government has sought an explanation from the country's aviation authority about its letter suggesting that the pilot of the Pia plane which crashed last month in Karachi did not follow the instructions of the air traffic controller for landing, saying such information should be first provided to the inquiry board. The Civil Aviation Authority car, said in a letter on June 2 to the cash-strapped Pakistan International Airlines that the pilot of the crashed aircraft did not follow the instructions of the air traffic controller, ITC. The letter, which was published in Pakistani media, has out the government which said that such information should be provided to the inquiry board already set up to probe the May 22 crash which killed 97 people, including three children, and two passengers miraculously survived, Dawn newspaper reported. Flight P-8303 from Lahore crashed at the Jinnah Garden area near Model Colony in Mailer, minutes before its landing in Karachi's Jinnah International Airport. Eleven people on the ground were injured. A 13-year-old girl died this week, taking the death toll in the accident to 98. Minister for Aviation Gulam Sawar Khan told the media in Lahore on Thursday that the government took exception to the letter, the report said. We have sought an explanation from the car official for a letter. As long as the inquiry report is not finalized, the official in question should not have spoken up publicly. Whatever the official slash car had to say should have been told to the four-member inquiry board probing the crash, he said. The letter sent by car official if to car armored to the peer's safety and quality assurance department, while pointing out non-compliance of HC instructions by the pilot of the Airbus A-320 aircraft had asked it to ensure that such a situation was not repeated in future. The minister said that only three bodies of the plane's 97 passengers had yet to be identified for different reasons, like DNA not being matched. The minister said the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder were with the French team that visited Pakistan and data from the two recorders had successfully been downloaded. The government would make the preliminary report about the crash public on June 22. The plane crash will also be discussed in the forthcoming session of the National Assembly and we assure everyone that the probe will be fair and transparent, he said, dismissing criticism of members of the inquiry board. The release of the preliminary probe report on the Karachi incident would be followed by release of reports on the Chitral crash, Gilgit crash landing, and crashes of the planes of Air Blue and Boya Air in Islamabad, he added. But due to the coronavirus pandemic, the aviation industry has suffered a lot and the national flight carrier has been under a debt of Rs 482 billion.